Let us understand how to connect with MySQL database and use the query and uh, leverage the features available as a part of the notebook and paragraph. I'm going to create a new note. Let me call it as MySQL demo underscore note 2. I'm going to make the default interpreter as MySQL. I already have the MySQL interpreter. Let us see the details of MySQL interpreter. Let's going to connect to this specific RDBMS that is MySQL database using this driver and I have provided the user ID and password. The MySQL has a database called Sakila and a number of tables available within it. That's a data source from this specific location. It's a sample database from MySQL. And it has the structure, something similar to this. Let me not worry about the structure now. I'm going to use some sample queries and leverage the features available within the notebook. I'm going to open the notebook MySQL demo let me create a small help using the MD. And this particular notebook, MySQL is the default interpreter and all the interpreters are enabled by default. I'm not going to make any change. I will provide the MD script and execute. Notebook looks very intuitive to give an introduction what this particular notebook is going to do. Whenever I'm going to share this notebook, they will get a good introduction what this particular notebook is going to provide. Let me check what are all the database available. I have the circular database. I'm going to provide the command use circular. So all the future paragraphs will be using the circular database. Now I am going to use a query. Let me make the font little bigger. I'm going to pick the customer ID, first name, last name and total amount they have paid from this specific database. I'm going to join with the customer ID so that I should be in a position to get the first name and last name from the customer table. And I'll be getting the payment information, that's the amount paid by the customer. I'm going to identify each customer total amount, how much they have paid. A very simple SQL query that's going to provide me the result. So what's the customer ID, the first name, last name and the total amount they have paid. In case if I want this to be visualized in a different graph, I can select the graph that I want. Assume I wanted that to be displayed as a bar graph. It's going to ask for the details for the settings. What should be the key? So I'll make the customer ID and the value I will make the total paid amount as a part of value. So I should be getting a graph. So each customer how much they have paid. In case if I want a different graph, I can select the different graph as well. So I have a graph. Now I wanted to have a dot scatter chart as well as a, a line chart. So what I can do, I can reduce this particular width of this paragraph to 6. I'll be creating another paragraph. I'll make the width of this as well as 6. And I'll execute the same query. Or what I can do, I can clone it. clone the paragraph. It's going to create a new paragraph and I'm going to execute it. That's going to get me the result. I can make a different graph over here. So it'll be more easier to compare. So these are all the features available within the paragraph. Now let me use or create another query. I'm going to select the actor, first name, last name and the total number of count or the number of films they have acted from these two tables. I'll be making these queries available as a part of this particular recording. So you don't need to worry about the design or the query. I do have the result. In case if I wanted this to be exported as a CSV or TSV file, I can export also. Now let me make this as a table with a filter value. So the filter would get enabled. I should be in a position to check what are all the values with the film count 15 or I can sort based on the last name. Anything that I want I can do. So this is another query. Let me use couple of queries and create a paragraph and export it. And I'm going to create another query where I'm going to get the category name and the average length of the movie for each category. 
I'm doing the group by category. Let me execute this specific query. I do have the average length. I'm going to get a bar graph. So for each category, what is the average length? Now I'm going to create another query to try out various graph options available. So this particular query going to list how many customers made the rental duration or what are all their customers, how many days due beyond the due date. So because of this particular setup, it had a number of more rows, but it got truncated to this many number of bytes. In case if I want this to be changed, I can change it within the configuration file and that would be done by the administrator or I can get into the configuration file and change this. So this has been set to 100 KB. I can change it to a different value as well. Now I'm going to make a pie chart. Let me get into the settings. I wanted the days overdue as the key and uh, the count of overdue days. So these are all the values I have. 304 records where the overdue is equivalent to 5 and I have 490 records where the overdue is equivalent to 4. So this is just an example to demonstrate what are the different type of graph and analysis I can do. Now let me arrange this. Let me make it as width as 6 and this particular graph width as 6. The entire screen is divided into 12 columns I can decide each paragraph how many columns it should occupy accordingly automatically it would get arranged so I have a beautiful paragraph now I'm going to export this so it should be available as a JSON so using the import note some other customer or my manager can import and they can see the result